Hi guys, so I'm just trying to debate what I want to show in this video because I did some shopping, uh, you know, on Amazon and things like that and Michaels and Joanne and the Dollar Tree this weekend and it's just a lot of stuff. So, um, uh, maybe this will be Joanne's and Michaels because it's not as many, I, I don't know. We'll see. But if I do, uh, I am for sure going to show the Amazon things here. Oh, you know what? I have an HSN order that's in also. So, uh, I'll have, um, Links in the description box, those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So I picked up a ton of beads, because I want to do a bead swap coming up soon. Um, I was going to post a video today, I don't know if that's going to happen uh, for the sign up, it might be tomorrow. Uh, it just depends how my day goes, because it's already off to a late start, and I'm going to be helping in Miranda's class later um, to do a little project. Uh, so... Actually, let me get my phone. I want to show you guys something, too. I'll be so right back. I was having a lot of fun over the weekend cutting a ton of stuff from my Cricut um, for Miranda's little project. Basically, we're going to do sugar skulls. So, like, the teacher already made an outline of a skull. She's going to make copies of that. And then the kids are going to use tissue paper that I cut up into a ton of little pieces, squares. Um, they're going to, uh, like, kind of decoupage, like, glue those down, you know. And then I cut, like, little... Um, eyes that are like scallop circles with a hole in the center you know so they're like a just like an opening and then like a heart for a nose that I kind of manipulated so I'll have a picture of that because it's basically and then I made some little teeth <laughs> um, artwork that's gonna go on their door for their little trunk or treat so whenever that happens which is Friday I will definitely take a picture of it for you guys um, <laughs> really quick yeah I did some damage all right guys I was <laughs> doing some shopping but I wanted to show you guys because um, this video is not gonna be at the Dollar Tree stuff I think it's the next one I had to go to my Escondido the town next to us Dollar Tree because mine didn't have like the regular colorful like tissue like the red and blue and like the darker colors they only had like pastel and like Christmas colors so I picked up the pastel ones but I thought well some kids might want to do darker colors on their little skeleton and um this place was packed I mean look at all the stuff they have for Christmas out already all the table scatter and everything else that's there and they had some things I didn't have in mine so I ran in supposedly <laughs> as I was waiting in the car and I was like uh yeah I'll be a, a minute I guess because Look at all these things, and oh my god, the little bags, and these are burlap bags. I have some of these things in my haul, but again, that video will be later. All kinds of baking items. Miranda was playing with these little things. They have, like, these little villages, and you can light them up, and they're a good size, so I was like, oh, that's really cute. Um, just a ton of stuff, you guys. Uh, fall baking. <laughs> There's Miranda's little bow. I forgot why I took a picture. I guess just take a picture of it. Oh, the little ceramic um, things. And these are really nice size. You know, when you make like a little loaf, like a mini loaf. I love these to give away. So like, just a ton of them little designs on there. Super cute. And these guys um, had the design on the inside. What else? Oh, yes. <laughs> All kinds of like socks and things. Um, I picked up a ton of these because I figured if we're doing like um, a Christmas case or whatever kind of swap, um, I usually get socks and things. They had cute gloves like these. Look at so they'll be in the haul. You'll see those. Um, and then, of course, the socks, like tons of socks. <laughs> so anyway, I was just trying to take some pictures of the different things they had. And I was like, yep. Oh, yeah, there's images of that. Oh, and little Miranda got her... Um, uh, Halloween costume, and so that was nice. Um, I had ordered a uh, Sarah from Hocus Pocus for her, and then I ordered myself a uh, Winnie costume, but then I ordered the cape separately, because it was like, you know, delivered October 31st, and like, I cannot wait. <laughs> like, that's not okay. So I had to pick and choose who I was ordering from as far as my costume. And it came in last week, um, and it was actually really nice. You know, I'll link that too, just because I know it's hard to, like, choose things sometimes online, and I order medium, which is like... I don't know what the sizing is on there. But anyway, uh, perfect fit. And um, it was a really nice weight, my costume. I love it. So I love when something feels like quality. So anyway, um, so I ordered these bags on Amazon. I want to try them out. These are a little bit different, obviously, than the plastic bags I always have linked. The plastic bags I always have linked are these guys. Hold on. I know I have at least one here, yeah. Like this. So they're nice thick and this is just like the everyday they're always linked for stamps and dies and um, so I thought I would try these out they're a little different these are um, not as good as like the diamond press ones like even these diamond press pocket ones right they're like really stiff or like the newer ones but they feel pretty good I like you know the look of these so again we sometimes I have die sets where it's just like two or three dies tiny things so it has tons of these guys Ooh, look at this. This is more like slimline. I guess I can give you the sizing on these. These are four inch square. 
This one is nine and a half by four. So nine and a half by four. Oh, I like that. Um, and I ordered this because it was a selection. They do have them individually too. Uh, let's see. This one's like seven, well, seven and a quarter or seven and a half ish almost by five and a half. Yeah. So like if you have five by seven type things, they'll fit in there with some room. And then these guys, my goodness, these are nine and a half by seven. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll see how these go. Um, try those out. So again, I'll link those two. Oh, and they came with little stickers so you can, I guess, put them on there. I don't really know where you would put this. I guess maybe in the top corner or something. I mean, I guess it depends on how you store them away. Um, and then I did pick up the little so I did Tim pick Holtz. Up the Tim Holtz um, colorized uh, dies that uh, I had been eyeballing or eyeing. And then uh, Bernie sent in a swap with these little characters. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it. So it's a Day of the Dead colorized. And I'll link them there too. Um, uh, so... Amazon. They had a ton of beads that, like I said, I wanted to pick up some new beads. And these are like the little, I guess you call them evil eye beads. <laughs> but um, I just thought they were really cute. So again, if I do the bead swap and I'm doing the, um, like, uh, seasons or, I don't know, uh, occasions for the seasons and stuff like that, I thought these would be really cute in the Halloween ones because I thought we could pick out colors there, especially for that. And like I said, for that swap, I really want you guys to bring out, like, your best quality things. If you're purchasing stuff or whatever, please don't just include things from the Dollar Tree. Um, we'll talk about the rules when we get to it. But if that's what it looks like, I'm just going to swap you with other people that look like they only sent in things from the Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree does have some very cute things right now, I'm going to tell you. But it, this is outside of that, okay? We want real beads, real charms, you know, uh, nice things, okay, guys? Not just, like, pony beads and stuff like that. Um... Look at these. How cute. I thought these would be cute for the spring and summer part of my swap. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. And then these glow in the dark. And they actually do glow in the dark really well. Even when they got here, they obviously they were in packaging. But um, I put them out and they were glowing already. So these are really fun. I got a bunch of letter beads. Um, let's see here. Oh, this one was all like spacers. So I was curious of this to see how quality they felt or not, you know, because a lot of people, the reviews were like, they're so great. So I was like, okay. I mean, they have an okay weight. Obviously, they're not solid gold or silver or whatever, but um, that's better. I know, like I've mentioned, like a dollar shoe, you can get pearls like this and like a, you know, a huge ton of them, but they're always peeling. Like they're not the highest quality. And these look okay. They're not peeled while they're in here. I don't know. But um, that's good. What I really like, though, is that you're supposed to have, like, little letter beads, and then you can space them out with your little bracelet. So it even comes with um, the little stretchy stuff. So that's cool. But I like that it had all different sorts, sorts of, like, spacer beads, right? That's what I consider these, like, spacer beads. So that's what I grabbed those for, just to have a little variety, something fun. Um, hold on. I feel like I got a lot more things from Amazon, but I don't know that they're here. Oh, yeah, you know what? They're somewhere else, because I know there's another bag. Okay. Um, this one is made in the People's Republic of China, as you see <laughs> PRC. Uh, I don't know. Polymer clay beads, it says. So these are Heishi beads, and I don't know if that's how you pronounce them, but they're so pretty. So, again, I use these as spacers. Sometimes what they're showing is, like, put a whole row of them so it looks like a block of color and a block of color and then maybe split up with some letters or some little characters or whatever so this i thought was a really cute set because i mean it has tons of cute beads in there and then all the heishi beads and again these are a really nice quality um this set i'm going to tell you right now was not inexpensive but <laughs> it was worth it to me because i thought they were really cute and i went heishi bead crazy so there are some other ones this is another set Look at this one! It's like Halloween. So we have all the letters um, and like the cute little colorful ones. We have the circle with the black letters. We have the block ones with the black letters. We have the circle with all the colors. So it just kind of switches out there. And let me see here. Yeah, these aren't... I don't think these are shareable amounts because, I mean, once you... There's just not that many. And I ordered things to feel that. Really, I ordered this for these cute little um, clay beads that are in here. How cute are those? And for the colors that are on these strands of Heishi. So again, just like this, you would just put them on like a bracelet, maybe a block. But I always use my spacer, so like I'll use a little orange one, and then like a bead, and then and maybe another orange one or whatever. So there's different ways to use them. 
super pretty. Um, oh, I was going to say, let me grab the other one, but there's some more things not open yet. Hold on. And then I'll show you the paper pads I pretty much got at Joanne. I think that's all I got this time. I went to buy paper for Miranda's project again. I needed a lot of, like, black. And I didn't have, like, 12 by 12 sheets to put on my Cricut. They were all just black, so I went over there. And end up with paper pads, of course. Oh my gosh, look how cute these are! Oh, I knew these were going to be adorable. I didn't know they were going to be this adorable. How cute! <laughs> they're like little candies and they're like iridescent a little bit. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. So cute. Again, I'll link all these. I know sometimes on Amazon it's hard to tell like, what's going on or whatever they're doing there. Oh yes, cool. Okay, so these are the little candy corns. Um, I saw these in my swaps and I'm like, where do these people get them? So I have these guys, but it came in like a kit. Yeah, so it has a little bag and like findings. This is kind of the thing I mean for like the, the swap. I wanted you guys to like put findings in there. So like if they're all gold or all silver or like a mix that makes sense or whatever, I think that'd be fun. Um, mostly for dangles, right? I mean, that's pretty much what we're doing with paper crafting, but you know, if you want to include stuff that's for jewelry making that's up to you but I would say focus it more towards paper crafting now let me grab the other Amazon package I don't know where it is I'll be right back I couldn't find it and then it was right here so again more Heishi beads I love the colorways in this so I just had to grab it I mean look how pretty with the pinks and like the corals and then the white with the little black gray <laughs> so I grabbed two sets of that one because I know I want to share those and I want some for myself too these beautiful letters. I love the look of these. And this is going to go in my fall section. So I was thinking about doing words like fall or autumn. Whatever it is I can pull out of here. Uh, I wouldn't just throw a bunch of beads in there. Because like what if someone needs an A and there are none. Or <laughs> whatever. So for me it's better to make the words and pop them in there. Um, that's how I'm going to use those. If I need to order another set of those I will. Because those are super pretty. Um, another little KS craft set. Ooh this guy. Look at this 3D embossing folder from Tim Holtz. Um, it's the skulls one. I don't know if that's just what it's called. Yeah, skulls. But look at that! And you guys know these things are like amazing. So I'm really curious to see what that looks like when we try it out. So we'll try that out at some point here. Um, oh, the peppermints! You guys, I went to Michael's and things are 30% off that are like Christmas and then I think 60% off that are Halloween. So I still picked up some Halloween stuff but I picked up a ton of Christmas because for me I would wait. I would generally wait because obviously you want to get a better deal. But since I have the channel and I have to do like work for that like I just get things early because I need to use them right to make videos kind of a bummer but <laughs> as far as that but 30% off is pretty good and then I think I get 15% off on top um, just with the whatever discount they have there so uh, it wasn't too bad but look how cute these are I thought they were going to be flat you guys these are awesome look at the tech like the shape of them that is so cool I honestly thought they were going to be like just flat flat very cute. Okay, so we have those. And I had picked these up last week. Remember I mentioned them and I couldn't find them, but here they are. Oh no. I was just going to say, this is not good. Okay, that's why. Uh, I was cutting, like, this is part of the skulls for Miranda's project, and I was also going through my mail, so this fell in there, but it's because the cricket gouged the thing. You know how cricket does. Okay. Uh, but look how cute these are. And I love the ones I got, like, in the swap that people put on their packages or whatever that are, like, metallic, like, shiny. So these are more, they're shiny, but they're, like, what's the word? I don't know. Just, like, plain, right? The other ones are metallic, I say. But how cute are they? Oh, my goodness. I love using those in the future. <laughs> um, and then we have these guys. I have this happy jig. I don't know where it is, but I want to <laughs> use it again. So let's... Let I, honestly, if I look through some of these things, I probably could find them because I have a feeling I know where it is, but I don't 100% know where it is. And on Amazon, it was like 14 bucks or something. So I was like, I'm willing to get it again. The only thing is, you know, it is a little tedious. You do put your little pegs and then you do the whole thing. And I have wire jigs just from beading and stuff, but I figured might as well try it out again. Um, it looks like they do have some different info, though, online for you. So that's good because... You, you have to figure out these designs on your own, especially the words. If you're wanting something particular, and obviously in the book it doesn't show you about it, you're going to have to figure that out. But I'm sure there's tons of uh, tutorials and things like that. You can figure out some more of those. Um, I think that's it from Amazon. And then what I'm going to do is bring out the few things that were left. That, it's basically stuff that didn't come in earlier from uh, Craft Day. And then um, Joanne's. Okay, I'll bring it back. Do you think 
I would have opened this box in between that time, huh? Oh, I was like, what are those? A bunch of coupons from Joanne for the next time I visit. I'm like, okay. I told you guys I cannot be trusted to go in a store. I can't do it. I shouldn't do it. And I will stop doing that. <laughs> so these are just a few paper pads that um, I had picked up. Or oh, actually, a couple paper pads and a die set. I was curious about these because I don't have any dies from um, Craft Consortium. And this one's called Dynamics. Again, I got these on HSN. Let me look at that. Uh, again, it says the inner frame three in the corners. Let's see, three by two inches, 1.9 by 1.9. So die cut size. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, I says inner frame. Anyway, I guess they're talking about the smaller one. I was like, this is bigger than these numbers I'm giving you. The largest one is 7.9 by 5.4. So let's open this up. It's very fancy. <laughs> Look how pretty. Oh, I love the color of these dies. <gasps> these are pretty you guys look at the corners that's awesome because i mean they're basically the same you could have just given you the one die but you see have two if you want to cut two at a time so that's nice and then these guys too are basically the same um maybe slightly different right because of what i'm trying to say is that these you can definitely cut and then put it over here with this one you do need the opposite so that's cool um and then here we have this big frame and then that cuts its own frame out i uh, can see that then you have this layering die this one and this one this is so pretty I picked up one just to try it out, but I think they had like four or five different styles. But I will link to this specific one and then I guess to the dynamics and you can check them out. And then of course I grabbed another, um, just one more guys, just one more of my sweet candy Christmas. I, this, oh, so pretty. I mean, look at that. Love it. And then this one they had put out last year. It might be older than last year, but I know for sure I saw it last year and I didn't get it. But I was like, you know what? It reminds me of candy Christmas. And if I love candy Christmas, I'll probably love this one too. So again, Things you can die cut back here. Beautiful paper. A very candy Christmas, right? You guys, there's papers that look like this, very much like this, and the other, even the colorway. So the pink with the snowflakes on this side, the snowflakes are glittery. I don't know if you can see that. Um, candy canes. And then the candy canes with the embossing, like clear embossing powder kind of look. Clear embossing, shall you just say. And the little workshop <laughs> saws and hammers and stuff. How cute is that? Different colorway on the front plaid that's a really bright out there plaid and look at these little guys honestly I love craft consortium I mean even here you can see there's all kinds of different like skin tones and just really cute I love that I love 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 that little background there little elves and then we have our Santa's house and all kinds of cute little signage here I guess you can cut those out if you wanted to right cute uh, made by elves, not ear nice, and this is that kind of paper that's like pearlescent. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but this is pearlescent. It's a different feel than the other ones, uh, front and back. Cute! Oh my gosh, look at this. The little elf hats, little blue and snowy kind of thing, and these strips again, really nice for a slim line or whatever you want to do with them. You can cut them even, you know, cut them down wherever it is that you like. Again, these are probably 12 by what uh four right because there's three of them so 12 um and then the plaid and then the cute little squares these are so adorable oh my gosh so there's that that is that i think that's it from hsn uh, i'll put that to the side here oh all right guys so in my mind, I'm always thinking ahead, obviously, at this point, because we're gearing up towards Christmas. Obviously, we have tons of things from Christmas in July. I don't really have a lot of papers, so um, grabbing some new papers, and then in my mind, I'm thinking swaps and so stuff like that, right? So that's kind of what I'm looking at. And um, so at Joanne, they did have some cute things. They had a sale. I, like I said, I went to grab paper, and I grabbed the paper, but I grabbed more paper than I meant to. I picked up some stuff of this Bow Bunny, which is kind of interesting. The Bow Bunny stuff I've always ever gotten was always at, like, Tuesday morning, which I haven't been to in years. And um, the one that was closest to me, they closed, so it's just whatever. I think they were $6. I was like, what? I think they were 30 or 40% off, maybe 20 I remember the sale wasn't that great. I'm like, okay. But... These are so cute, and honestly, I would love to put these in a mix or just in a swap, right? You know, if you include them in a swap, just like a nice little amount of each one or whatever. Um, really cute. I didn't even notice they're different sizes. I only ever saw the big one, and then when I turned over right now, I sell it. So, really cute. Oh, look at that. See? The one I got was open. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, be careful. Uh, the other day, I had bought... What did I buy? Oh, um... 
some stuff at Dollar Tree that Miranda needed for a project that she had to do in school, like a Prandora's box that she had to decorate, which of course were like, yes, of course I have tons of things, but I bought her a few more little rhinestones and it had a certain amount. And when I opened it, I'm like, it feels like there's less. It was open, like they weren't even sealed really. So I guess something happened, like a few of them are missing. <laughs> so just pay attention to that. But anyway, I just think these are so pretty. So Willow and Sage, again, not inexpensive. <laughs> these brads are lovely. Um, you know, it looks like there's a die cut on here for some reason, but they're brads, or is that stuck to the brad? I have no idea. I just thought they were pretty, so I grabbed some of those, along with um, these little blue doilies, which again, you can just buy doilies, I'm sure, but I hadn't seen them in teal like this, so I was like, okay, I'll grab these. <laughs> but um, really pretty. I love the packaging. Everything is lovely. And then I grabbed this um, Hero Arts uh, set because, um, hello, we just have all those cute... Um, like stitch dies and things from like spellbinders or like the stitching sets that I signed up for the auto ship with the um, with diamond press. So that's this really cute addition to have so you can write your own words or whatever dates and stuff like that. Super cute. And then this one, you can always, you know, we can always use this kind of stamp um, where it has like just inking of you, inked with love. So blessed we are inky friends. Eat, sleep, stamp, repeat. I mean, you guys. Grateful for you. Stampy birthday to you. We'll always be stamping buddies. You have so much good stuff. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. So anyway, I just, a lot of these were so cute. So I was like, I had to grab this. Um, which reminds me, talking about crafty stuff. I'm thinking about going to the Scrapbook Expo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Coming up in Ontario. Is that where it is? in November but I had to ask uh, we'll see because my mom's gonna be visiting her at a time and I don't know if she wants me to go out in crowds and then coming back to, you know we'll see I don't even know if I feel comfortable with it but um, I also want to look at the vendor list so let me know if anybody if you guys are going to the Ontario show that would be fun to say hi real quick but um yeah, we'll see. I, I don't know how I feel about it quite yet myself. And I picked up a punch board because you know how that goes. A pocket punch board. I don't think I have this one. If I have this one, I will... I, I don't think so. I I know sometimes I'll buy them in like sets. Like on HSN, they'll have like three things all together. But I don't think I have this one. I would have done a review of it already. So we'll try this out. Why not? <laughs> so we'll see. And then I grabbed a pair of little scissors because I just thought these were so fun. So old school. Miranda will probably have fun with them. And they're just cute to like finish things off. Like, um, we'll see. The problem with these is that when you cut the next side, it's like it's off or it looks funky and that drives me nuts. So that was my only issue with doing anything like this. But also if you're crooked <laughs> as you're cutting. So there's different reasons, but I do like the pinking and the scallop edge of those. So I thought those were fun and old school and like, why not, right? Let's try those out. Um, oh, the other reason I had gone is because for Miranda's project I needed a bunch of red paper and they didn't really have a bunch of red, so I had to buy separate papers. Very fancy lady that I am. Um, I've never bought individual scrapbook papers. I know they always have like that Michael Joanne's and stuff, but I've never done it. So I was like, ooh, so fancy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, coupons again. 25% off your total purchase. Hmm. We'll see. Um, so apparently, okay, so they do have die cuts with a view. I had asked you guys about that. I'm like, where is die cuts with a view anymore? Like, I know you can buy them online and things, but I haven't really seen them in the store as much, or even like at Michael's because they have their recollections and other things. But, um, this one's called Preserve Paper, and I just, I grabbed two of them because they were on sale. Um, I have noticed that they have less pages, which is actually okay with me because, like, we got to use our paper, you guys. When it's like 60 papers or 48 papers, like, this one has 36, and I'm like, okay. I think I picked up some of the ones that had like 24. Um, and that's okay, but I did pick up two of this one because look how pretty this is. And it's double sided. Not as thick as die because you used to be, but it's a pretty good thickness. Again, they don't say their weight. I would say 85 plus. Not 110, not even close, but around 85, I would venture to guess. Um, so pretty. I mean, look at the foiling on the back. This is gorgeous. And I'm sure I'll do another, like, shabby chic kind of swap. So this is just right, right in there. <laughs> look at this. Oh, my gosh. So, again, they didn't have this at Michael's. Uh, I know that because I went to Michael's, like, the next day. And I got something else there. Um, again, not the greatest sales at Michael's. Uh, I think Joanne had their stuff 50% off or whatever. And I don't know if that ended or not, but so pretty. What's falling? What's falling? Oh, it's my uh, beads. Gorgeous papers. So I grabbed two of those. Then they have this, and I don't know anything about first edition paper. I don't know. Again, just very pretty. What is going on with this? Oh, is it? 
that's weird it's not bound anywhere and i didn't realize that and look at the one i get of course i get one that's like scuffed up here or maybe it is I, well, I guess it is i guess it's stuck together here it's just falling apart for some reason but anyway this one is called perfect moments and some of the paper is textured so I thought that was kind of interesting. It felt very, well, this one has like embossing. But it reminded me of, um, like this one, feels like wallpaper. It reminds me of oh, that one company, I always forget their name, and you guys will remind me, and I'm like, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> like, look at the, I don't know if you can see the back of this. It really feels like wallpaper. Pretty paper. I mean, it's okay. It's just a nice background. So there's nothing to write home about it, about this one, I'll be honest. Uh, Park Lane, that's the one. I'm like, I have no idea what Park Lane is. Not super thick. Mmm. <laughs> Thinner than the die cuts with a view for sure. Thicker than 65 pounds. Probably between 65 and 80 pounds. 85 pounds in there, if that makes any sense for anybody. One-sided foiling, super cute. I like the images on this. I was like, I always have like birthday cards and things like that where I don't have background papers. I like, you know, when the occasion arises for like new um, dies that I picked up or like maybe reviews for companies. So I got this specifically for that. Like anything that's like fun, congratulations, you know happy birthday kind of thing. I thought this was fun. And then it has the cut aparts, which is great. The macaron, how cute. Sprinkles, donuts with like um, gold foiling for sprinkles. So yeah, I grabbed that mostly for that kind of thing. Again, that's that park lane. This is also first edition. Two gold designs, two glitter designs, one UV design, whatever that means, half double sided papers, one UV design. Huh. Um, oh yeah, and they're double-sided. Did I show the other one being double-sided? Uh, the other ones aren't. The other ones are white. But these are double-sided. Look it! <laughs> Again, just fun backgrounds. I mean, look at the banner one. How sweet is that? Super simple. Pop on like a little, maybe die cut with a happy birthday or whatever you're done. So yeah, I do not know what they mean by UV design. This one is single-sided, so maybe that's... Two foil designs, two glitter designs, one UV design, half double sided paper. Okay, so those are double sided and these are not. Okay. We're still looking for this UV design. <laughs> so there's glitter on those with the Let's Party. It's glittery. Uh, glittery here. Okay. All right. Uh, enameled or whatever there. Gold foil there. Cute. I have no idea what they're talking about. So there you go. Uh, let me see what this one said. Was it? Double-sided at all? Oh yeah, this one is also half double-sided. Interesting first edition paper. <laughs> um, just a ton of Park Lane solid core 12 by 12 paper because I knew I needed some for Amanda's project too, so I just grabbed that. But it says this is the best cardstock for cutting machines. You know what's kind of interesting? This is 80 pounds and then the black that they had just all black was 65 pounds. I'm like, I don't really want 65 pound paper. That's like my nemesis. But um, it worked really well on the Cricut. It didn't feather. It didn't... Actually, let me show it to you. Because I have it right here. <laughs> you saw that heart, right? Other than it gouged because like my, you know, uh, mat was probably not sticking in that area. This is it. And... It worked really well. I'm just telling you because I know when you use recollections paper like on the Cricut and you go to peel it off, like a lot of times it leaves like a black <laughs> fibers all over or it peels off in a crazy way or it rips. This did not. And this was also um, Park Lane. And I used, this is 40 sheets. I probably have maybe, maybe 20 some odd sheets left because I used a ton of it. <laughs> so uh, cut after cut after cut, it was perfect. So just saying. So uh, yeah, maybe they have something going in there with that. It probably should say the same thing on the other one. But again, this one's thicker. It's 80 pounds and it's textured really pretty. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm telling you, pretty posy. I don't even, I feel like <laughs> I must have got into like uh, subconscious, unconscious mode. I don't know <laughs> because I don't remember picking this up. I just saw pretty papers was like, oh yes, they're on sale? Sure. Um, pretty colors in here. I honestly don't remember this one. Pretty posy. Oh, I do like this, though. Very Kath Kidston, no? Yes, yes, we like that. Yeah, definitely a very much Kath Kidston. Is it Kath or Kathy? Or is it even Kath? I don't even remember now. But anyway, how pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, yes. And then, again, double-sided now we're to the single. That's pretty cool. I am liking this first edition. Also, the thickness is pretty yummy. Does it say here? 200 GSM, I was just going to say. So when you're in the 80 pounds, that's usually around 200-ish GSM, and it is 200 GSM. So yeah, that makes total sense. It feels really nice. 
Highly recommend, guys. And I'm letting you guys know that because let's say you shop on joannes.com. Oh, this one has a little some, something there. Again, this is like that textured. Um, now you know, and if it says there, like these people actually say 200 GSM. The other ones don't tell you, and this one did say 80 pound or whatever. So that's nice. Uh, but the other ones don't really say. Dacus of the View didn't really say unless it's in their product description. Oh, maybe this is what they mean, UV paper. You see this? Four spot UV designs. Again, that pearlescent paper that Craft Consortium has. Very interesting. Oh, look at that. <gasps> so pretty. So now, you know, you'll know that these are pretty great papers if you were to find them online. Um, okay. Yes, I must be liking this first edition. Here's another one. So this one's called It's a Girl. Honestly, I haven't even worked on like Miranda's baby book <laughs> very long time and she's eight years old but I like the colorway of this like the little deer that's so sweet for like anything really I mean how cute look at that okay obviously that's more baby but I like like the background the checks on that rock by baby the dots on this one beautiful pink little butterflies and stuff I just thought it was a really cute paper pack oh they have cut aparts <gasps> glitter oh with the baby shoes of course that's very much baby look at this Oh my gosh, how cute. The whole like scene there. Cute little a hexagon or like a little honeycomb look. Again, these are all like that textured. Really cool. Okay, so there's that. And one more. I think that's it from Joanne and that'll be it for this video. The next video is going to be Michael's and Dollar Tree and there's a ton of stuff. So uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> I just was like, maybe I should have included one of those in this one that's shorter. This one's called Storyteller, also for first edition. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize I got so much of this brand's papers. Very different paper on this, so I just picked it up. I don't even think I opened this, to be honest. I think I just saw the front and thought, ooh, it's so lovely. Um, super bright colors, really pretty. Again, 200 GSM heavyweight cardstock. Really nice stuff. And then we go into the glitters. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Sorry, I know it's going by really fast, but it's hurting my fingers, guys. <laughs> this one has really cool enameling on there. That pink area is what's like kind of like raised up like a jewel. Cool. All right. Well, I'm probably going to take a break right now to actually make it a tutorial. I need to make a tutorial for a tonic. And then I'll be back with like another um, haul later today or tomorrow. Again, this is kind of getting messy because I didn't have time yesterday. Sorry, guys. There's going to be a lot of things going on. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm, I'm hearing from you guys already that you're done with your swap and you're sending it in, which is amazing. The um, um, Fanciful Fall. Like I said, the those swaps are really fun because they are a little quicker. I mean, you're just doing your thing and pop them in there and boop, 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 each one. You know, I finished mine and so I'm happy to have that done too. So, all right, guys, keep an eye out for the bead swap. Um, sign up. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be later today, but possibly by yeah, tomorrow. Speaking okay. of tonic, um, I picked up their little coffin set. and I was going to get it from the U.S. site, but I waited a little too long, so I knew they were going to have it on the U.K. site. Because I think I feel like Halloween is something more that we like obsess over over here in the U.S. So um, I did pick up the whole bundle. It was the coffin plus like a little some add-on type dies and stuff so two other sets that are really really cute and then I also picked up their treat yourself box it's like a little box that you turn like this and like little treats will fall out of it I picked up their new like canister it's like a circular canister I don't remember the name of it right now and it has like little drawers which are so cute so I'll link all those things because I just ordered them I think Thursday or Friday so they should be in soon. Obviously the one set from the UK is gonna take a while it usually is like a week or two um, I didn't really care because I knew I wasn't going to get it so late in the season anyway, so I just wanted the coffin for next year. That doesn't bother me one bit, so I picked that up. What else did I get? There's something else I got on the U.S. site, but I'll link it all so you can expect to see those tutorials coming up soon, and if you're interested, you know, the links are there. Um, I also did not want to confuse you guys with the Tonic Craft Kit that I did the video for yesterday. I'm confused myself because um, they've been getting samples late, in late, so I haven't been getting a lot of samples, so like that's fine but um i do have the one for the next craft kit which is launching on the 20th this one is the one that launched september 20th meaning you have a preview period i believe that's how it works until uh, until they launch the next one right and if you're already a member during the 20th through the basically right before the first of the month if it's something you like you leave it if you don't you, know, you can skip it or whatever um and usually that means they're going to start shipping after October 1st, after the first of the next month. So this is the one you guys should be getting. Somebody else had seemed like they were confused about it, but I was confused about it because, like I said, I, I since I missed it, 
I'm like, I don't, I don't know where I am in this uh, lineup right now. But that should be the October kit. So on October 20th, they're going to show you the November kit, right? So it's like a preview. But if you order it, you're getting that one in November. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope I'm not getting that right, uh, wrong, sorry, because I know Spellbinders is a little bit different. Um, when they launch it, it's like, that's it. That's what you're getting that month, you know. Uh, they do a preview period early on Tonic. And then when the month begins, that same kit is still what's available for that month. I hope that makes sense. It might not. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye now.